Hello everybody, Kern Murphy here from Custom Audio Mutation. Just um, going to do a video playthrough of this Fender Basement that came in for repair. Um, this thing had a lot of problems, a real laundry list of issues. Um, I'm going to put it in standby and cut down on some of the hum. So uh, this booger came in not uh, sounding very good. What I thought originally was blocking distortion, the customer had kind of said, hey, it's got a lot of blocking distortion, it's really screwed up sounding. So I figured, you know, a retube would be in order. It's an old Fender Bassman, and, uh, you know, some of the coupling caps on them are pretty big, letting in too much low end, so the preamp sections can't recover before the next uh, note hits it, so that's kind of where blocking distortion comes from, my understanding of it anyway. So I figured, hey, you know, a couple of quick uh, retube, bias it, see how it sounds, um, then maybe look into what's going on in the circuit. Well, I opened it up, and it, it had been raped, uh, violated. It was not really a Fender Basement from 1968 anymore. It had all new capacitors, all new resistors. It had really been gone over and turned into, you know, an approximation of a... Of a AB165 circuit. So there were a lot of issues with it. The negative feedback section was wired wrong. The phase inverter was wired wrong. Uh, there were <clears throat> jumper wires going to weird places. A lot of issues with the amp. So long story short, um, I started to go through and correct things. Sound got better, sound got better, sound got better. And finally, um, couldn't get it any better and realized that the output transformer had actually developed issues when you put voltage and current through it, it um, would shit out. So um, sadly, had to replace the output transformer. I bought a classic tone, 50-watt uh, basement power transformer, popped it in, boom, it was back. Sounded great. And then a customer said, well, hey, you know, I really don't use the, uh, chan the first channel, the base channel. Is there something we can do with that? Can I marshalize it or something? And of course, um, at this point in the amp's existence, might as well have some fun with it. So what I did was um, had a good friend of mine, uh, Brian Thompson uh, from Facebook, one of the user groups I belong to, recommended putting a train wreck circuit in it, a train wreck express gain staging. Uh, there's enough tubes for it, no extra drilling, actually remove a few parts and move the mixer section around a little bit. And what we ended up with is um, the normal channel right here. We end up with a really nice fender basement. Oh, let me <laughs> put it in play mode. Um, fender basement. I'm going to put in the bright switch. So that's on a neck pickup on my uh, uh, gem, my Ibanez gem. So we've got the basement back. Sounds wonderful. She sounds great. Um, she's starting to break up at three, which is pretty typical. Um, and as you push it, so we're going to go to seven. So that's a seven. I mean, that's a great rock tone, you know. Rock basement. 
Um, I also did a couple tweaks in the phase inverters. I actually turned it into a, a black face uh, output section. It was an AB165, so this is actually the AA864, I believe, going on here in the normal channel. So that's like kind of the desired sought after. <laughs> So, going over uh, to the base channel, um, you'll see that I moved the volume control over to the number two input. It's got a single input labeled TW. Gee, I wonder why. Gain control, treble, I added a mid, a mid control and bass control. And then you'll see the uh, preamp section is, you know, pretty violated. Uh, but I've just been tweaking it to taste to what I like as far as saturation and distortion and what it can do and um, here you go so this channel is complete and utter fender blasphemy don't I hope nobody gets upset by this so so at three it's I mean <laughs> crunchy, aggressive, it, there's no, no cleaning whatsoever to speak of, and uh, we're going to... aggressive that's on seven um, a tube screamer in the front is going to tighten up that low end a little bit I, we're I've pushed things to the absolute limit of what it can do and uh, how to keep it as tight as I can while still maintaining the fender normal channel <laughs> That's with nothing. That's no drive pedal or anything. Now I'll actually put it. So that's this. Is, I put it down to four here. Left the tone controls the same. Just a great rock sound, yeah? And I put in, uh, I just got turning on and off the, uh, my uh, drive pedal that I built, my custom audio mutation uh, drive pedal. 
say so myself, but, uh, you know, hey! <laughs> In case anybody didn't know, uh, Super Plexi 50, the Cam 850 M2, and the Cam 850 M at the bottom there. You know, I think I build kind of cool stuff. All right, enough shameless plugging. Look, company bathroom. <laughs> 